Hello guys, how are we all doing today? Hopefully all doing well. Well, as you can see by the look of it, we are on the Kodi on we are on our Amazon Fire TV and today I'm going to show you as I mentioned in the last my last video that I'm going to show you how to pair your Bluetooth, your Bluetooth mouse and keyboard like this one. This is a mouse pad and the keyboard uh, keyboard. It's a Bluetooth enable as well. I'm going to pair this with my bl my Amazon Fire TV stick actually. You didn't even know that the Amazon Fire TV stick do have a Bluetooth capability in it. But it's all sort of hidden guys to install it. To have it, you need to install the setup APK file. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can do that. And the way I'm going to do it actually. So that will give you more ideas in the future how you can download your Kodi. You can video add-ons, video any video add-ons which are manual download. You can put in your Dropbox and all these things. You know, it's very handy to have this sort of a tool and working. So let's start this tutorial just just before we start this anything any procedure like this we need to make sure we need to go to the settings into the setting system and into the system scroll down to the developer option and you need to make sure the app from unknown sources are ticked ticked on okay okay because the reason is the app we're going to install the setting app we're going to install obviously is from the unknown source so for that downloading this app what we need to do when you we need to use the es explorer guys es es file explorer is now available from app app store at amazon from amazon app store actually so you can do it download it from there too let's open up okay i have already done a video about it how you can do that so you can do it that way once this launch is going to look like that one but what you need to do is you need to scroll down to the bottom what are you going to do you need to, we need to go into this cloud option right there one first okay Let's go to the cloud. In this cloud, once you're in it, what you need to do, you need to come down. Now you can see that we are on the fresh. Scroll down to the add. Go to the add. We need to add the Dropbox services. If you do have a Dropbox account, you can add the Dropbox account. If you do have Google Drive, you can add Google Drive. You got a sugar synchronized, you can do that one too. You can do all of these, you know, if you wanted to. Or if you got a media fire as well, if you wanted to do that. I do have a media fire which is a very big account to have it. So I'm going to use the media file if I wanted to, guys. And what I'm going to use it in this video, I'm going to use the Dropbox easy and very easy to do so. Let's start the Dropbox. What you need to do now, you need to add all the authentication and everything. For that, I'm going to, you're going to have your own actually, guys. Okay, so you can have your own, but you can do, you can download your all files, APK files and different, different files, which will be available in the video description. You can download it and upload it to the Dropbox services so can you, you can use them easily guys. Alright, once you enter your username and password on it, it will ask you to do, uh, the Dropbox will ask that uh, do you want ES File Explorer to access your files and everything. Yeah, you want it or you want to allow it. Yeah, that will be it guys. There you go. You are straight on it. Now what you are going to do actually, is you can open up these files. So now I do have an APK files folder, so I'm going to open this one and I want to need actually in there. I need to install the setting file actually. Setting file is a file which will bring up the whole setting which you normally see in Android app operating system. Let's open up. Obviously, we're going to install it. There you go. Once installed, open up. Okay, what we're going to do is install it straightforward install. There you go. Scroll down, install. So simple as that. The settings will be installed. Once the settings will be installed, what you can do, you can open up now. Okay, once you open up, you need to, your Bluetooth is turned on. So it must go into this. All right, now your Bluetooth is turned on. What you need to do, you need to show Capri Bluetooth visible. Okay, you need to make it visible. You need to turn on your Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse and turn them on for the pairing mode. Search for the devices. Let's go on the top. As you can see that, just right also available. And what you need to do, you need to scroll down on the top there. Where it says the search on it, you can explore it. Okay. As you can see, it's already found the one by one keyboard on it. So let's open up this keyboard. And it's asking you to pair it. And and what is happening actually it's just telling you to type this number which is available on the screen you just need to enter this uh, all into this all number in it and just press the enter button that will be it guys so I'm going to enter this new number there you go guys so simple as that the keyboard is connected 
and that'll be it. I don't need to do anything. I just need to press the home button to get out of this all. Okay, now my keyboard is completely working and everything. I do have a mouse as well as you can see that now. So my Bluetooth keyboard, this one, is communicating with my Fire TV stick. Well, the keyboard seems to be looking bigger than the key Fire TV stick itself. Is well. It's covered the whole camera now. So that will wait, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you do have any more questions about it, do let me know. I'll be glad to answer any of your queries. I know this video become a bit longer, but the idea has just popped you into it. You know, you're gonna have a, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy this for a long time. You, if you wanted to download any of the video add-ons for the Kodi, you can do it through that way. Put them into your, uh, put them into your cloud accounts. You know, like, uh, like, like Google Drive, OneDrive. Fire Media Fire or your uh, Dropbox service. That'll be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I cleared it all. You know how you're gonna do it, and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video then, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.